Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars, and I got a rare find. Really excited about this truck, 1956 Ford F100. That is, aside from the engine, all original. Um, and wheels, somebody put some bigger wheels and tires on it, but uh, just a rare bird. And this is a custom cab, which was back in the day, almost loaded out. The uh, um, factory turn signal switch is kind of a big deal. And then uh, it does not have a radio. Um, so that would have been the only option that would be missing from this vehicle. And that upgrade would be the uh, big back window too. So um, love this truck. Um, got it out of a old man's collection. He's had this truck for almost 30 years. The old uh, gauges aftermarket gauges down here they put in years ago are still functional speedometer is wonky doing the little needle jump thing that's not a challenging fix one of the things I appreciate too the radio does work um, I appreciate the fact that they mounted this underneath so it wouldn't be hard if this was my truck I would take this CD player out and move it into the glove box or hide it under the uh, hide it under the uh, the seat but the nice thing is you won't once you take that out it'll look all original in here and that's always been important to me so this is other than the engine this is a 390 um, everything else is I think original to this truck it's got the old three on the tree and I hope I'm doing due diligence there to show you that I can hold the camera in one hand shift gears with the other Tell people this is my finger test. If you watch my finger, this is me steering straight. So, typical little bit of play in the steering, probably about like that much right there. But the truck tra tracks nicely down the road. Now, power wise, I think you could, you know, you could drive this truck as fast as you want. You know, you could expect a lot of power, I guess I'll say, from that 390. But uh, with it being the original suspension and everything else being original, this is really a truck that I think the, the value in it is that it drives like original. So I'm also stepping on the brakes here, not holding the not holding the steering wheel. That's nice and straight. Old, you know, original drum brakes. Putting it back in first there. Clutch feels really great. It shifts through the gears nice and smooth, no binding. Even the horn works, which is awesome. So I'm, here I am holding the camera with one hand, steering around this cul-de-sac. So, drives really good for being an original 56. Get up here to a flat spot and show you the so lucked out too, I mean, so I bought this guy from a guy actually who owns a filling station and pretty much the thing he said that was really nice about the truck is everything works. You gotta pull all the way up on that emergency brake handle, but it works, the horn works. The wipers work. You put a new, he said, I put a new electric switch in on that. So 390 engine sounds great. Just old truck sounding. The little return spring on the primary latch, I did notice is not popping back. But even still, I, it's a little heavy, but I lifted it with one hand. To me, this was kind of the perfect barn find. Engine purrs like a kitten. Now the old man we got this truck from, he said that he didn't think there was a lot of miles on it. He said, so I think what they did is they painted it and they put the 390 in it uh, about almost 30 years ago. Um, but he told me, he said, you know, there's probably not 1,500 miles on that engine. Um, of course, I can't verify that. I'm just telling the story. But um, this to me is almost like a glorified barn find because aside from a couple of trips, he told me he parks it inside the garage and on nice days pulls it out in front of his shop 
and it's parked out there basically for people to just look at um, and then he said he'd taken a couple of trips and you know driven up into the driven up into the country so the beautiful thing this is reminds me of my grandfather's uh or my grandmother's original Buick Skylark where my grandfather's probably literally putting just a handful of miles on it a year pulling it out of the garage and uh, driving it around the block and then pulling it back in the garage I mean my grandpa's been doing that with my grandma's old car for 25 years or 30 years now so similar story on this it's been being pulled out from the garage and uh, you know driven up to the front and then at the end of the work day pulled back into the garage and parked inside so well, let's go around and take a look beautiful uh reclaimed or refinished original bedwood um, which i actually did this personally it's got fresh poly on it i just did a quick cleanup on it i didn't want to take the rails out and everything because like i said this is kind of what i'm calling like a glorified almost like a barn find i mean other than the engine and the paint it's all original and uh so it's got a few little spots here and there if you're going to get up close to it i still think this would be a great candidate if you're looking for uh, a lot of i have a lot of calls from people who want to do photography and stuff christmas you know pictures a truck like this would be awesome just the way it is throw some hay bales in the back but if you're looking for a project where you want to finish off a, a really nice minimal rust body and uh and a solid framed 56 ford i think this is a great candidate the body's very straight Firewalls rust free, inner fender wells. And like I said, he had installed an electric wiper motor there. And then the hood is very straight. There's a couple that that one main rust crack there on the hood. Now, of course, these always have to be walked down. I remember being at a car show and this guy's got a $90,000 56 Ford truck. And uh, you still walk around it to push that uh, hood down so original uh chrome in the front and you know it looks like original i personally like the way the truck looks like this i this these are the kind that i say i leave it alone i wouldn't probably go to painting it but except this spot right here uh i think that it's got it's a little bit of bondo in there where they you know ran it into something into the garage put a dent in it and then did not paint match the paint so that's the only real flaw that i don't like where i would you know single stage probably match that up uh, matching hand cooked tires with basically like brand new tread on wider wheels those are those were upgraded original dealer installed uh, tow mirrors which is really cool I don't see those very often that's actually a rare thing to see the custom cab all the original doors open and close good bottoms of the doors a little rusty a little crusty here and here and again you know they make door skins you could go through and just go on lmc truck and get on the catalog and order any of the little spots bottoms of the doors for example like i said or bottoms of the rockers they make skins for that if you want to fix that up that's not rusted all the way through there but a little crusty floor pans got surface rust but solid beautiful dash as i showed you guys earlier heater i believe i thought he said the heater was working too um i don't see a switch to turn the heater on and off though but it's present and i believe it's hooked up turn signals work as well lights work even the uh volunteer light right there works which is really cool nice older you know somebody put this seat cover you know it's not original but put it on years ago see and these speakers back here they just stuck them in no, no boxes or anything it looks like it probably got a newer fuel tank at some point so body all the way around in great shape a little bit of spots in the in the rails too you're getting real particular with it a couple of bubbles there and then the caulking that goes in there goes in there you know it's got some age to it obviously but really straight body i mean if you were going to finish a truck off with a slick body you could do it with this one a couple little dings in, in the tailgate you know from being a work truck but actually the sides of the bed are in great shape and then this probably was used as a work truck it's got this is what i always look at this is where you're throwing logs in and timber so there's a few dents here in the back of the bed 
you know, from throwing two by fours in, heading to the hardware store. She's an old gal. Bottoms of the cab corners are actually in good shape. Maybe a tiny crack there. And then a couple little pops on the bottom of the doors. This door, I think it's in much more solid condition than the other side. And then a couple of little spots there. Solid cab uh, hinge pockets on both sides. Original battery box location, still functional. This truck is really solid underneath. The lower valance there. Superficial surface rust and peeling un original undercoating there. And there's a dirt dauber nest too, but um, not rust. I always try to make sure we show that, that, you know, that's old dirt and original undercoating. So really, really solid under here. Inner fender wells. And that one spot right there, little spot there. Step sides, good original condition as well. And you can see that this had the factory or possibly dealer installed undercoating. Back in those days, they there's a new fuel line that was run. Um, the cab corner's got some rust in it. Pretty common, and those inner cab, cab corners are actually really easy. So at some point, looks like somebody put a, maybe put a floor pan, no? I think those are the original floor pans. I was thinking that might have been a patch, but it's not. It's just confusing me there. These floor pans are, again, uh, Georgia red clay all on the floor pans, but no rust. Also good in the rear. That is a very, very solid truck. <clears throat> original frame. I can't say that that's the original wood. I think that may that's oh, that oak may have been replaced years ago. They probably replaced it when they did the paint job. And I really, really love the way the bed turned out. It really looks like a nice reclaimed farm you know a reclaimed original bed inner fender well on this side rust free passenger side front inner fender well again that one spot pretty common right there about the size maybe of a little bigger than a golf ball and those are such easy spots to fix some bubbles there on the bottom of the door but these cab corners look pretty good. A couple of little cracks. Overall, I'm really impressed with the condition of this truck. Cab corner looked like it was re maybe replaced. Some rust on the inside. If I can get my camera in there. Pretty common. Yeah, these inner cab corners, I haven't bought the kit in a while, but they were about $45 a side before. And floor pans here like I said again this is all Georgia red clay and kind of superficial surface rust we've had it parked in the same spot in the shop too not noticed any leaks so well there you have it 1956 Ford short bed love these one year only before they went to the new body style in 57 this is a rare gem to be able to scoop up and Enjoy it for whatever you decide. Give us a call. We're at peachtreeclassiccars.com.